Welcome to video 61 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the item rigid body script. Okay, so this script is going to be responsible for setting the rigid bodies to is kinematic, to true or false depending on whether you've picked up the object or thrown the object. So this kind of behavior will allow you to, what you're going to write, allow you to turn any object into something that you can pick up and disable its rigid body or enable its rigid body no matter how many rigid bodies you have on it. So let me just write rigid bodies, item rigid bodies, open it up. Okay, so we'll start with private, item master, item master, and then a public rigid body and make it an array rigid bodies is what I'll call it. Okay, then set initial references. I'll set up the uh, reference to item master. Item master. Okay, and then I'll put that in on enable. Set initial references. Okay, I won't need start and update. I'll get rid of those. And I'll just have here another method. Check if starts on player or check if starts in inventory, check if starts in inventory. And then I'll have two other methods, void set is kinematic to true. That would be the case when you've picked it up. And a void set is kinematic to false. Okay, so for the first one, I will just simply go through. I'll first check if rigid bodies dot length, it's an array, is greater than zero. So is there something inside of it? If there is, then for each rigid body, I'll just call this variable our body in rigid bodies. So go through that array. And for each item, I'll set the uh, rigid body, well, our body dot is kinematic is equal to true. Okay, and that will allow me to turn all rigid bodies that I define uh, to is kinematic. So you can imagine you can pick up ragdolls, so you can pick up player like enemies and so on. And you just define you slot in all the rigid bodies from the ragdoll. And then suddenly you now have you can pick up anything you can absolutely pick up and throw anything with this item system and it'll be in your inventory as well. So very powerful. Okay, and then let me just copy this over there and just simply set it to false. Okay, and checking if starts in inventory. Uh, all I'm going to do there is if transform.root.compare tag, uh, game manager references dot player tag. Uh, whoops, let me finish the brackets. There we go. So if it if the root, so this is how you know that whether this uh, throwing block or whatever is on the player because if the root game object, the root transform has a tag player, means it's on the player. Okay. So then I would set is kinematic to true to begin with because I don't want the objects falling all over the place anymore. I want them to be still when you're holding them. Okay. And now to set the, uh, well, subscribe to the events. So item master, uh, dot, uh, event object throw plus equal is kinematic. Uh, set it to false. Okay. So copy that over here. Unsubscribe. Then just add another line. An event object pickup. Set is kinematic to true. Copy it over. Okay. And don't forget the semicolon. All right. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Call it that object. That's silly me. Okay. Let's grab that. Put that there. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So that is the script set up. Oh, and here too, in on enable, I need to check if starts in inventory. Yeah. Mustn't forget that. Okay. Good. Now that looks all right. So let me go to Unity and start making use of it. So both of those items. Drag it on, item rigid bodies, make the array size of at least something. So I'll just put in one. 
And because there's, I know there's only one rigid body attached, so now it's separately for each one. I'll just drag the item on. Okay. So of course, if you had uh, a game object with had which had multiple rigid bodies on it, such as a ragdoll, then you would uh, just create the number of um, uh, elements that you need, and then drag each one on. Okay. And this one, item two, like that. Okay. Done. So now we'll jump in, I'll jump in and hit play, and I should see when it comes into the player's hands, is kinematic should you get checked? Yes, it does, and that's why it's not falling to the ground anymore. Now I can throw it properly. Okay, so that's working, but there's still a problem. You see the game objects, they interact. The one that I'm holding can still knock stuff about. Now you may want that behavior, or you may not. I don't want that behavior. I want the colliders to be uh, disabled when you have it picked up. And of course, later on, I'll use layers so that you can't see, you know, the object doesn't go inside of other game objects. So that'll be later. So in this video, we've done what we needed to do, which was to uh, pretty much set it so that the rigid bodies are enabled or disabled. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.